Hi, I'm Dave Hembra. I'm a sports science officer at Sheffield Hallam University and I'm a co-worker at the AWRC uh, involved in leading health and wellbeing. Uh, we're doing these videos just to share a bit about the programme, tell you a bit about ourselves um, and welcome you on board. It's been delayed a few times now and we're really looking forward to the programme starting. My role at the AWRC and with Leading Health and Wellbeing is as the coordinator of the programme and as you guys in the first cohort are leading the way, we're then going to take the programme uh, into other parts of the Sheffield City region and I'm going to be coordinating that and we're going to be looking for support and celebration from you guys, the first cohort, to really sort of share your experiences uh, and set a light really uh, of health and wellbeing and the wellbeing economy in the Sheffield City region. So some of the things that we're thinking of in advance of the course starting is what can you do now? What can you do as a leader in your organisation, um, as someone in an SME, uh, in a leadership role or a management role? Um, what can you do to really get a head start before the programme starts? Well, the programme is going to introduce a load of wellbeing principles uh, and business principles, how to be a leader uh, and to in how to influence. And what we're looking for are these skills to help you personally, help your friends and family around you and help those in your organisation and in your community. And as we take that programme through the city region, uh, we're going to have more and more advocates like yourself who have been a participant in the programme and really live in the values that we'll introduce. I myself a few years ago was fortunate enough to go uh, on the Integral Leadership course, which was uh, the programme uh, that Richard Field and Pete Manag run um, and they've brought into the AWRC for us to deliver. Uh, that was several years ago now and it was transformative to me. I, I really enjoyed learning about the leadership and the business qualities um, and bringing that back into the university. Uh, and I look forward to sharing that and being involved. Another role I have uh, in the programme is I'm going to be leading some daily exercise. So I'm a coach, uh, a sports scientist, but a strength and conditioning coach. I'm going to start and finish each day uh, with some activity, just 15, 20 minutes, uh, waking up, moving in the morning, and then something to wind down and relax or just a moment to contemplate through movement and that's something I hope you enjoy uh, and also something I hope you take into your daily life or, or back in the workplace. So what can you do now? Well there's a few things. You can lead by example. Making uh, well-being decisions uh, through the wellness economy to support your performance at business, to influence your people that you're working with, your employees or your colleagues, um, you can set an example. And so you can start now Maybe by making space in, in the day for exercise and activity. Maybe by having some walking meetings. Um, maybe just sharing some of the things you're doing or the difficulties you're having within your, your own well-being. What else can you do? You can give permission. And so you can ensure that the staff you work with, your peers, the employees, uh, they know it's okay to take regular breaks or to build some activity into the day. To take that walking meeting, for example. So you can give permission. You can be a leader. You can also support people and facilitate it. Maybe you can bring a wellbeing specialist in or a coach in uh, to deliver as people start to return to the workplace post COVID. And then finally, something you can do is you can celebrate. You can celebrate people's achievements. You can celebrate your workforce uh, doing good things in a wellbeing context. Because uh, we know that culturally, when people are fitter and healthier and well at work, they're happier, they're more productive and more effective. Um, and they're, they're around a bit more perhaps around for a little bit longer. Isn't it important to look after your staff? So I'm Dave Hembra. I'm really looking forward to meeting you and be part of the Leading Health and Wellbeing Programme uh, at the AWRC. I'll be taking some physical activity. I'll be reviewing the material from the course uh, that I went on several years ago uh, and look forward to you know, sharing that experience with you. Uh, and for the moment, please do look after yourself in this transition back to work post-COVID um, be fit, healthy and well, be a leader in that space, share some examples, give people permission and celebrate people's success and this is just a start. Uh, the programme will commence early summer uh, and we'll really take some of these ideas forwards uh, and explore them more. Uh, I look forward to seeing you then.